Zalma the Dragon God was introduced in episode 31 of Dragon Ball Super as the creator of the Super Dragon Balls. Now this sparks a question, how powerful is Zalma? To determine this, we need to go off of what we know about him. It was said that the regular Dragon Balls are just smaller extensions of what the Super Dragon Balls can do. Therefore, any feat Shenron, Burunga, and Taranbo can do should apply to what Zalma can do. Now let's look at some of the things Shenron can do. He could revive people in mass, and in GT, he revived the planet. As for Purunga, he could restore the planet without its people, and then he used the second wish to bring them back. I would place both Shenron and Purunga around planet. Now for the big boy, Taranbo. Taranbo is the dragon in the Dragon Ball Super manga that grants wishes with a price. He made Granola stronger than Goku and Gas stronger than Granola. For scaling Tarambo, we will say that Goku is universal for simplicity. This is because in his fight with Beerus, they were going to destroy the universe. This would mean that Tarambo can make people universal, and remember, anything that Tarambo does should apply to Zalma. Now that we got some of the lesser feats out of the way, you heard me, lesser feats, let's move on to Zalama himself. The first thing we see Zalama do is to restore Earth in another universe. This would make Zalama's range quite high, as he could affect other universes. And he is also gigantic. In the universe survival art, Zalma undid the Omni King's destruction of seven universes. The Omni King stated that he could do anything. This could imply Zalma is comparable to the Omni King. Now the real question is, what does destroying seven universes mean? The Dragon Ball universes are the same size of our universe, or they are infinite. Depending on which scaling you use, that would mean the difference between universal or low multiversal. It's your decision on which is correct, as it would take a whole nother video to see the actual scaling of the universe. Now looking at Zalama's durability, we see that he can destroy himself as Goku Black wished for it. This could mean that his durability does not scale to his power, or he simply just destroyed the Super Dragon Balls. In my headcanon, I think Zalama is comparable to Zeno because he does not react to him, and Zeno stands up for him once he's summoned. This is just my headcanon though, so don't use this for any sort of evidence. Before you say you were talking about Super Shenron this whole time, and Zalama looks more like this, first of all, that image is a fan image, and we have no reason to believe he is a Dinaki. For the second part, during Bulma's summary of the Super Dragon Balls, she says, to summarize all that, there are seven Super Dragon Balls in total scattered across the sixth and seventh universes that can be used to summon the Dragon God Zalama. Super Shenron is Zalama. Fight me on it. I would place Zalma around Universal to a low multiversal level of power. There are more feats for him, but they are in Dragon Ball Heroes, and I'm not looking at that promotional train wreck. So yeah, Zalma is one of the most OP characters in Dragon Ball Super, and I'll be signing off. See ya.